In other local news, we're learning more about a Jacksonville mother of three killed in a double shooting in the Paxson neighborhood last night. Family members say 24-year-old China Culler had a troubled relationship with a man who also died of a gunshot wound following what police said was an argument. The two were found outside a house on West 2nd Street when officers arrived just after 9.30. The man, whose name has not been released, died at the scene, and Culler died at a hospital. Police have not said whether this was a murder-suicide. Culler's mother spoke with News 4 Jacks reporter Allison Henning, who's joining us from the neighborhood that was the scene of this tragedy. Allison? Tom, she spoke with me about different incidents leading up to yesterday's devil shooting, and I took a look at court records and found there have been multiple incidents between the two involving domestic violence. Also, over the last few years, there have been dozens of calls for service to the home where the shooting happened. Three children, seven and younger, now without a mother. It's devastating. 24-year-old China Kohler was shot and killed outside her home Sunday night. Police say the shots were fired after some sort of argument. Kohler's mother, Tiki Stafford, says her four-year-old granddaughter saw the whole thing. She's traumatized. She knows what happened. And all she was saying is, I want to go to mommy's house. And I'm like, you can't go to mommy's house. Mommy not there anymore. Mommy not coming back. Culler's family tells News for Jax the man who also died last night is the father of Culler's two children. They say the two had a troubled relationship going back several years. You feel like the system failed her? Yes, I do. If they was a little bit more harsh on them, kept them in up, my baby would still be alive. News for Jax looked at calls for service to the home on West 2nd Street and found JSO has been there more than 30 times dating back to January 2016. There have been 11 domestic disturbances, three assaults, and an incident where a shot was fired. There were also eight police visits where a domestic injunction was served. The young woman's mother has a message to other women who might be going through a similar situation. Nip it in the bud. Soon you see they violent, nip it in the bud. It ain't gonna get no better. And unfortunately, my daughter died. And Kohler's mother tells me that China was in the process of trying to move to Atlanta to just get away. She says, unfortunately, though, she did not have that chance. The family has created a GoFundMe page to help support the three children who are now left without a mother. We have posted a link to that on our website, newsforjax.com. Reporting live, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.